keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're going to be talking about a two-way point forward build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for the daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So, um, it doesn't matter if you left or right-handed, of course. I decided to go on left-handed because I'm left in IRL. Um, small forward. Uh, because obviously we're talking about a wing here. I mean as a point forward you got to be a forward position So we're going small forward with this. We're gonna drop our height down to 6'6 because that is the sweet spot And what we're gonna do is go up to 225 pounds And the only reason why we're going up in weight is because the body shape that you start off with off rip So like if you lower your weight all the way down You're gonna have a stick figure and you're gonna have to be in the Gary facility for the next three months Trying to grind out stars just to get a body shape whereas if you go 225 You'll still be able to have a decent body shape and then really all you have to do is just go out one more and then you'll be able to get built right so it's like you know to me that's just kind of where i like to do it but again it's your call wingspan we're going to keep it at 611 again that doesn't really matter you can max it all the way out um at the end of the day it it doesn't change anything so i just went 611 but uh okay whatever this is this max it out this is max it out for for kicks and, right and giggles so we're max it out but you can keep it at 611 if you want to uh first and foremost just go ahead and do the stamina and all the physicals down here we're going 99 on that we're going 60 on the vertical we're going 60 on the strength all right and then we're gonna go 83 on the um acceleration and then of course 86 on the speed all right and again like all these is we're doing this because of a certain amount of badges that we're trying to get and we'll talk about that in a second okay so now let's come up here and let's get very technical real quick all right so we're gonna go 80 on the driving layup right 80 driving layup as you see will give you some good things it'll give you silver fearless finisher silver slithery and pro touch hall of fame so it's really good to get pro touch hall of fame because if you're going to try doing any type of layups at the basket it makes sense but also you get russell westbrook layup package and to me that's like a good lower tier layup package to have without going too high so we're going to be able to do that all right um then we're going to go 55 on the driving dunk and the reason why we're going 55 on the driving dunk because clay thompson dunk package is a 55 and he has basically all the straight arm dunks like it's very simple come like very very simple dunks but they're just not getting blocked right and they're quick straight to the basket it's just a good it's not like it's quick drops you're not jumping from the free throw line going straight glide into the hoop but what i'm saying is is that these are the best dunk packages that you want to get from a competitive standpoint. They're not, you know, there's no cockbacks. There's nothing behind your head. You're not doing anything crazy. They're just simple, straight to the basket dunks that you're going to be able to utilize competitively, okay? Then we go 45 on the standing dunk because 45 standing dunk basically gives you the two best standing dunk animations. Again, if you're under the basket with just a 45, with those um, under the basket dunk packages equipped, guess what? You get nice standing dunks. And again, this is crazy to think that you don't have to, you can get really, really good layups, dunks, and standing dunk packages for just this cheap. So again, you're welcome, all right? That's all you need to get right there. Now, what we're gonna do here is this on the mid range shot. We're going 77 on the mid range shot. You cannot go no higher, it will change the name. I have a 78 right now on my high flyer, so a 77 would not be no difference to me. I'm able to shoot really well with just the 78. This 77, you should be able to shoot really well also. We're also gonna go 71 on the um, post, I mean, I'm not with being, no, I'm sorry, it's gonna be 71 on the mid range and 77 here, all right, there we go. So by basically going 71 on the mid range, three point shot is a 77. And then we're going 71 on a free throw, and that's just going to give you free points on bronze. So you have the shooting aspect. Remember, since you're point forward, you can't be too high in your shooting anyway, but a 77 is good enough, all right? It's good enough. Then what we're going to do here in our pass accuracy, we're going 87 just so we can be able to get bell out on bronze. That's going to be actually pretty good to have. So bell out on bronze. Then we're going to go 92 on the, um, on the ball handle. And that basically is just to give you like all, you know, unpluckable, 
on um, on gold. Of course, by having 92, you get basically all the dribble six four. But you remember, yet for since you are six six, you're not able to get the six five and under, but you're still able to get really good dribble six. Okay. Then you gotta go 83 with the speed with ball. Of course, by doing that, it will give you blow buys on gold, speed booster on gold, and hyper drive on gold, respectfully. So you wanna be able to have all that. So this build is definitely, as a point forward, is gonna be able to do basically anything you want from a creative standpoint as far as getting to the basket and distributing the ball or shooting because of the high ball handle and pass accuracy, okay? But we're called a two-way. So being called a two-way, you got to go all the way up to 89 to be a two-way, okay? So um, so now with the 89, but the good thing is 85 gives you the clamps on silver, but just by going up, you get workhorse on gold, go up again, you get challenger on gold, which is really good, go up again, you get 94 feet on gold, and then the last but not least, ankle braces on gold at 89. And um, again, with ankle breakers being as prevalent as they are, you want to make sure you get your ankle braces on, so you have your ankle braces. Then we want to go steel. Of course, we want to go 85 on the steel. 85 still will give you glove on silver, right stick ripper on silver, and interceptor on silver, respectfully. At the end of the day, this <laughs> silver glove is strong, man. It's still good. Like, I love, love, love my 2A sharp, and I only have an 85 still, and I feel like I get really good steals on the ball. Um, so you can get away with that, but at the end of the day, this is a two-way build, so you'll be able to play great on the perimeter and have the ability to get steals with the gold and silver badges. Then we're going to go 68 on the block, all right? We go 68 on the block, and the reason why we're going 68 on the block is because we are going to get the chase down on bronze, okay? So you want to be able to get your chase down. And then with your last little bit for defensive rebound, we put a 45 for defensive rebound. But there you have it. You have a really, really good build all the way around that can play good defense, that has all the dribbling gold badges, has silver and bronze shooting, and then, of course, your layup, driving dunk, and standing dunk basically the finishing crazy how glitchy it can be to have this low of attributes in each category and finishing and still be able to get some good animations and dunk and lay up packages and then of course here you have it, my nephews and nieces we have a build that uh, you don't see a lot in the park um, i actually haven't seen them at all but again as you can tell it's a very good build so you can definitely bring this out one thing i love about 2k24 is that a lot of builds this year you can bring out to the park and have a good time with so here is the two-way point for build so again let me know in the comment section what you think about this build is there anything that you'll change differently but remember before you speak on changing something make sure you do it in the builder because if you're speaking on something it might actually change the name so keep that in mind sometimes you might want to change something for the better but it will change the name of the build so, but anyway other than that this is your favorite old head uncle Demi. i'll be back really really soon another banger man you know when i say back soon another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out